All right, picture this. You're outside on a sunny day, chilling under a big tree. But have you ever wondered how that tree actually survives, and even grows, just sitting there? It's not eating pizza or grabbing a smoothie like you and me. Nope. It's doing something way cooler photosynthesis. So here's how it works. Plants have a superpower, they can make their own food. First they soak up water from the soil with their roots. Then, they pull in carbon dioxide from the air. Kind of like they're taking a big breath. But the real magic ingredient? Sunlight. Inside the leaves there's this green stuff called chlorophyll. That's what makes plants green and it's like nature's solar panel. Chlorophyll grabs energy from sunlight. With that energy the plant mashes together water and carbon dioxide in a chemical reaction. The result? Two brand new substances, glucose and oxygen. Glucose is basically plant food. It's a type of sugar that gives the plant energy to grow, make seeds, and even build that huge trunk you're probably leaning against right now. Oxygen? That's the stuff you and I are breathing right this second. And guess what? It's just a byproduct for plants. They don't need it so they push it out into the air. You can write out what's happening like this, water plus carbon dioxide with a little help from sunlight gives you glucose and oxygen. Now why does any of this matter? First, thanks to photosynthesis, plants store energy from the sun inside sugars. Every living creature, whether you're a bug, a bird, or a human, depends on this energy. When you eat food, you're actually munching on energy that started out as sunshine, captured by plants. That's what food chains are all about, the journey of energy from the sun, to plants, to everything else. But here's the second big reason photosynthesis is so important. Plants make oxygen, lots of it. About 20% of the air around us is oxygen, and we need it every second to stay alive. Believe it or not, billions of years ago, there was almost no oxygen in Earth's air. Scientists think the very first oxygen came from bacteria that learned how to photosynthesize way before there were any plants. If photosynthesis never started, animals, including us, wouldn't even exist. So next time you're outside, thank a plant. It's not just sitting there looking pretty, it's making food, making oxygen, and making life on Earth possible. How cool is that? What does the word photosynthesis mean? Making with water. Making with light. Breaking down food. Absorbing nutrients. Which of the following is not needed for photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide. Oxygen. Water. Sunlight. What is the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis? To absorb water from the soil. To capture energy from sunlight. To release oxygen into the air. To break down glucose. Which gas do plants take in for photosynthesis? Oxygen. Nitrogen. Carbon dioxide. Hydrogen. What are the products of photosynthesis? Water and oxygen. Glucose and carbon dioxide. Glucose and oxygen. Water and carbon dioxide. Why is photosynthesis important for animals? It produces carbon dioxide for them to breathe. It provides food and oxygen. It removes glucose from the air. It gives them direct sunlight energy.
Where does photosynthesis occur in a plant? Roots Stem Leaves Flowers What was Earth's atmosphere like before photosynthesis began? Full of oxygen Mostly carbon dioxide and no oxygen Mostly nitrogen and oxygen Full of glucose Which organisms first introduced oxygen into Earth's atmosphere? Dinosaurs Early plants Photosynthetic bacteria Fungi What happens to the oxygen produced in photosynthesis? Plants use it all for respiration. It is released into the atmosphere. It is stored as glucose. It turns back into carbon dioxide.